you're on set, there are a million things that you have to worry about. But when it comes to your camera, there are really only three variables that you have to think and make sure you get correct while you're on set. Color temperature, ISO, and shutter speed. Let's break them down and talk about them. Now, I know there are a litany of ways that you can in post help correct and fix things. But number one, it's always more work for you on the back end for something that you could have gotten right in the first place. And number two, it's not always as easy as you think. Yes, there are plenty of ways that you can fix something in post, but usually it costs a lot of money and it costs a lot of time for something that could have just been done in camera. And these three things are important because they're not necessarily the easiest to fix. Color temperature. Color temperature ranges on a Kelvin scale and it's essentially telling your camera what white actually looks like. It goes from a full range like 3300 Kelvin, which makes things more yellow, uh, it's more tungsten, up to 5600 Kelvin, which makes things more blue, it's more daylight balanced. Now you have to understand, if you're shooting in RAW, you can take that metadata and change it and get whatever you want and it won't it won't cause that much of an issue. But if you're not shooting in RAW, any literally any other format, log, rec 709, any other format that you're shooting in, you can't really just go and change the color temperature in post without introducing weird color shifts and throwing off the actual look of your footage. You just can't go and change things. So you have to just make sure to use a white balance card or just get the right color temperature when you're actually on set. Number two, ISO. ISO is extremely important and in the YouTube land space, we usually correlate ISO with just bad image quality, I guess, it makes their footage look grainier and you get a lot more noise. But that's not the only thing that ISO does. ISO also lowers the amount of dynamic range that your sensor can actually, I don't wanna say handle or process, those aren't the right words, but it lowers the dynamic range in your footage. So for example, if you have a piece of footage and there are both highlights and shadows and there's a nice wide range and you're shooting at the base ISO, you would better be able to capture that full range versus if you went up to 3200 ISO. You're not really going to be able to have the same dynamic range performance. So it's not only about the, uh, the increase in noise and the decrease no, uh, color fidelity, it's also about your dynamic range. So just knowing that a camera performs best at its base ISO. So always try and keep it there if you can. And this is where things get confusing. So let's say your camera has a base ISO of 800 and it's super bright outside. Typically you would go down, so change that from 800 to, I don't know, 320 ISO, you would have less exposure on your scene, so your scene would get darker, and then you'd think, okay, that's great. I don't have to compensate with aperture or with shutter speed. I turn down my ISO. That is great, but you also have less dynamic range, less color fidelity. You can't just go changing that ISO without there being some type of consequence. Even if you can't see it readily, just know that it's there so that you can think about keeping your camera at a base ISO setting. The last thing that you have to think about getting right is shutter speed. So shutter speed dictates how your actual motion blur is going to be captured. So if I go like this, I'm shooting at 24 frames per second and my shutter speed is set to one over 50th. So you see there's a nice blur in my actual hand. If I change that shutter speed, however, let me go ahead and do that. Okay, so I've changed that shutter speed. If I go like this now, you see that it looks completely different. That's because your shutter speed is actually what helps to show that motion in your footage. Knowing all of this is important so that on set, you can focus on those three things. If you focus on those three things, color temperature, ISO, shutter speed, your footage is going to look a lot better. Now that doesn't even go into like aperture selection, that doesn't even go into a couple of other things that you can select with the lens itself. However, just getting those three things right, it doesn't really matter what aperture you shoot at. It does to a small degree for focus, but like the, the footage is still going to look natural. It's still going to look like a good color. It's still going to have dynamic range. Those are the three important things that you are looking for. So just make sure that when you're operating your camera, you focus on those three things. Color temperature, ISO, shutter speed. You're going to get a lot better looking footage. Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and do me a favor and click the like button down below. If you wanna join into this filmmaking community, this video production community, go ahead and click subscribe. I'd love for you to join along in the creative crew. And with that, I'll catch you in the next video.